at best I've had a couple of very prominent statisticians contact me privately and say they they know this is wrong, right? And they support they they you know, they support what I'm doing, but they can't go public on it because it would destroy their careers. They're, I mean, I'm in a relatively fortunate position in being you know, sort of at retirement age. So, you know, I've, I've sort of had my career. I haven't got that much to lose academically. I mean, yeah, I mean, the last two years have been tough for me in the sense that whereas, you know, I, I was, um, you know, got invited to, you know, to, you know to forget about COVID stuff. You know, I was you know, got invited to be a conference and stuff like that. I'm now kind of like persona non grata hmm. in the academic community, considered to be, you know, a spread of misinformation. I'm shocked. I'm totally shocked at the fact that very, very prominent uh, statisticians and mathematicians, not just questioning data, right, but promoting the fe- the flawed narrative that that data it's, it, it's totally shocking to me. It's, it's, this is why I, 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 I'm almost ashamed to be, you know, in the sort of, you know, to be an academic because I think academia throughout this has been one of the biggest um, drivers. They should have been the ones questioning everything. And specifically, I mean, you know, academics were always supposed to be sort of, you know, open mind. They're supposed to be the ones who question everything, who, who don't accept what governments are saying. They certainly don't accept what big pharma are saying. They were always opposed to that type of thing. And yet suddenly they've all fallen in line, lock stop with the government pharma narrative here to the point where they won't even question it. And not only won't question it, but they will hound and censor people like myself who do question it. 